Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the second gameplay objective card unlocked over here. Um, I may pronounce his name wrong, so please forgive me if I do. Uh, Dilrosun? Dilrosun? That's what we're going to call him. We're going to call him Dilrosun. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I've seen some of the stuff with this card and it looks like it's SBC fodder in all fairness. My boy may keep him just because he's a Bundesliga card, but I'm not sure if he will, right? In regards to all of his specifics, ladies and gentlemen, we're looking at a card that is five foot nine with medium low work rates, left footed with four star skill moves and a two star weak foot. So obviously a two star weak foot is not the greatest thing to have, right? Let's check out his actual traits. So he has no traits either. In regards to player details, we're gonna have 90 acceleration with 98 sprint speed. So not too bad in regards to that, right? Um, this card has no long shots, no volleys, but he does have finishing shot power but his composure is at 67. So, I mean, it's definitely a concept card, right? It's a bit, it's very obvious that it's going to be a concept card. We're going to review it anyways because it's still a gameplay objective card that you guys can can uh, can obtain and use. Because he might be actually really good in game. Who knows, right? Some of these cards are they surprise you. You know, they surprise you. Let's see if people actually decide to give him on the card a sniper. I mean, you could give him a sniper, don't get me wrong, but like when your composure is already that low, it doesn't really matter that much, you know? It doesn't really matter that much. Now, if you give him a marksman, I don't even know what you would give him. Would you just give him a basic? <laughs> Finisher, Deadeye? Uh, I mean, in my opinion, I feel like the bounce is already good enough, because look, with the sniper chemistry style... Uh, with a cyber chemistry style, like that balance increase is not going to be like completely significant. Maybe with the composure boost, it would be a little bit because you still have the 94 shot power. But yeah, it's a, it's definitely a concept card for sure. He has 99 stamina, which is good. Definitely makes the card usable as well. Dribbling is something we're going to try out in game in regards to using just the basic chemistry style. And then um, yeah, we'll see what's up with this card. I think I think this has probably been. The most underwhelming gameplay objective card we've had recently. Now, again, if he was Portuguese, I'd be all over this card. So for some people, there will be sentimental value in regards to the Hertha Berlin links or because you're Dutch and you just want to have some Dutch players in your club. So it's everyone's different, right? It's like me and Falcao. Like I know a lot of people are going to use Falcao towards the uh, towards the team of the season SBCs, but I would never, you know? So everybody's different, man. Everybody's different. So... Ladies and gentlemen, the way that we are going to be trying out this card is going to be in the left attacking mid position. Uh, Bella Robbie's off the ball movement is pure trash, but we're going to work with it anyways. Uh, we're going to have Sabitzer, the new Sabitzer in the team, with Kimmich alongside him, with Davies and Laner to the right side. We're going to go ahead and make this player review, and then I'll go ahead and do the how to quickly unlock both these players' objective, because now that my boy has it on his account for both of the cards, um, I'll be able to tell you guys... Uh, how to quickly unlock the card through the objectives because there's some that you could do simultaneously and then there's some that you would have to do after the certain amount of games, right? So we'll get into that afterwards. But for now, we're going to go ahead and get into this review and we're going to see how he plays. So we will be playing seriously with him on the 4-2-3-1 on the left side just for now. And then as the game progresses, we may try him in the cam position, striker position, so on and so forth. I'm hoping his dribbling is at least good, you know? So yeah, let's get into a game, see how he plays. Oh, well, this should be an interesting team to play against. By the way, guys, these are these are the lower divisions. Like, lower as in, like, 700, 800. But people have a huge misconception that people... <laughs> that this is actually what skill rating you're at. It's just not like that anymore. The skill rating is all over the place. A thousand skill rating is basically what Division 1 is nowadays. It's Or what Division 1 used to be. So it's, it's all over the place nowadays. All right. Let's see how you dribble on the ball. I mean, his dribbling is actually kind of solid. I don't even have a chemistry style on him, and if I improved it, he would be significantly better. So, I mean, you know what? A sniper chemistry style might be the go-to with this card, in all fairness. What do you do over here? Okay, so he pushes forward. Let's see what happens when I sw switch with Havertz over here. Occupies that position. I feel like he's not going to be the type of guy that's going to push narrow. I feel like he's going to stay out wide and try to utilize space with his pace. We'll see what's up with that, though. Mm, yeah, he's uh, he's positional-oriented. He doesn't he doesn't seem like he's going to cut in too much. We have to get into certain spaces, like right here. 
Yeah, he stays all wide. His off the ball movement is very similar to Triore's card. He's kind of just like trying to utilize his uh, his pace as much as possible. Look at Sabitzer going on the attack right there. Um, I mean, yeah, in the left attacking position, he's definitely not one of those cams. And uh, if you guys ever watch my reviews in regards to using players on the sides, he's definitely not one of the dudes that I would like to use on the sides for sure. Bella Robbie's the same. Bella Robbie, I, I if I'm being completely honest with you guys, I don't even notice Bella Robbie in my game. Like that's how bad his off the ball movement is. Um, yeah, let's go. You know what? Let's try. Let's try him out in the uh, in the striker position. Maybe he's uh, maybe he's more noticeable there. Some people, when they watch the reviews, they get so confused, like how fast I can see these things, bro. As I'm telling you, man, like there's just some people that you use in the positions. It's the the game is very linear in regards to certain off the ball movements. So when they don't make those certain runs, you can tell the pl the card is very generic, right? It takes like a solid like 20 minutes in game to see. Sometimes that has to do with your tactics as well, but when they're really linear like that in regards to runs to the side, you could tell he's going to have certain characteristics, right? Yeah, he's one of those dudes that like kind of like just run in a straight line, you know? Triroy did the same thing for me uh, when I was using his Team of the Season card, which is why I didn't really like him too much, because it's just too linear in regards to how he's moving. Shot across goal. Oh, not bad. He actually does have the shot power. Shot power is actually really noticeable on the card. So again, a sniper chemistry style is probably the best bet for you if you do end up using this card for sure. Because um, that movement that he has and that shot power that he has with the finishing that he has with the base card stats, it's pretty solid. The gameplay objective cards like this are the types of cards that I would like for the game to have like every day, you know, like they're not like they don't have to be crazy, but just like cool concept oriented cards, you know, like it doesn't have to be insane. Um, it's not like this guy's an absolute game changer because he's not going to be, right? But it's just a, it's just a cool card to grind for the day, you know? Hmm. You're going to use that space right there, my dude? Let me see what happens. Yeah, he doesn't really do it quick enough. He's very, like, target man oriented in the striker position. Very, very target man oriented. He doesn't really utilize empty space at all, actually. Like, the only run that he actually makes is the one where he just kind of, like, goes forward. But that's, like, pretty much it. See, like, he runs forward right there. A little bit of an angled run right there. How about this? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, he's very stagnant. Nice little goal right there, though. Like I said, like, I, I like gameplay. Like, here's the thing, right? Like, I always have, like, a vision when it comes to this game. Um, Gameplay-wise, gameplay objective-wise, playing the game for fun-wise, right? Like, if I were to unlock this card through gameplay objectives, and it's, like, an everyday thing where it's like, oh, you know, you can unlock this one, and then your thing refreshes. After you unlock this card, you can unlock another one or whatever, right? Concepts like that would be really cool for me, but obviously this card's not, like, amazing by any means. Um, which was very obvious before we actually started the game. But he's incredibly usable, you know? Like, there's different reasons why people would use a card like this, right? And uh, it's fun in regards to that, but off the ball moon with this card is very generic. Um, his dribbling and shooting is actually kind of decent so far, but that's one of those cards you have fun with, you know? Something new. Alright guys, so final verdict on the Dilro Suns card. I mean, it's like a, it's a concept card, right? It's pretty obvious that it was going to be a concept card. The two-star weak foot doesn't really help it that much. Um, obviously, in regards to composure, being at like a base of 67 isn't great, long shots, volleys isn't great. But then again, guys, when it comes to playing FIFA, long shots and volleys aren't crazy relevant. It's mostly just like these main shooting stats that are, and then the dribbling stats that are, right? Sometimes with composure, composure is very situational, but obviously for, for meta, it's not ideal to have someone that's a 67. But, I mean, he does dribble quite nicely on the ball, in all fairness to him. I do think... That if you give him a marksman chemistry style, boosting his dribbling stats by a little bit as well as his shooting to be essentially perfect would probably be a super ideal situation. Because from base card stats, right, at 94 finishing and 94 shot power, he does take some pretty decent shots. They're not like amazing shots, but if you can make them as perfect as possible, it would be an ideal situation. Medium low work rates is just it's just not a good work rate to have if you're playing him in any of the main attacking positions now it could work in the striker position but even in the striker position having someone that has composure that low dribbling um that's like decent but 
You know, he's got a pretty skinny stock in, da- in game. He doesn't really feel like he's a big dude, obviously. Um, he does have 81 strength, which is, which is okay. 99 stamina and everything. But, I mean, for me personally, this is a huge concept card. I'm trying to think of dudes that if I were to get that were Portuguese or even Canadian in the left mid position that's Portuguese that have similar stats, like, I would be pretty happy about it, right? So, everyone will see this card in different ways. I don't think he's overpowered by any means, right? I do think that he's incredibly generic. It's just like a, a super usable version of his card, if you will, right? What else do people on foot been decide to give him? A dead eye chemistry saw and a sniper. A sniper, I think a sniper makes the most sense, actually. Yeah. Sniper makes the most sense because you're still you're still increasing his balance and his shot power is already a 94 94 shot power is good enough 99 finishing would definitely be a helpful situation um, Those are the two that if you could increase the most it would definitely make the card more usable people also decide to give him a dead eye chemistry style Dead eye dead eye is pointless dead eye is just dead eye is pointless just give him a, a sniper guys if you guys have end up using this card sniper would probably be the best option but I do think He's an SBC fodder card in all fairness. 89 rated definitely helps out a lot, right? So, um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I will catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.